today we are going to discuss about the production and employment in this chapter we have a sub chapter sectors of economy the different people are engaged in different activities for their livelihood means some people are doing fishing some people are doing agriculture and some people are working in the industries and the other people are working as the teachers and doctors and other categories like this the various people they are engaged in various activities generally we see every day to understand these activities how they are impacting us and how they are impacted by us in this activity and how they are contribute how much they are contributing to the gdp and how they are affecting by the government policies there are so many questions here to understand the answers for these questions we have to categorize these activities these activities are categorized into three one is the primary sector it is an agriculture sector secondary sector second one it is also called as an industrial sector tertiary sector or it is also called as the service sector Okay, what comes under these activities? Let's learn about that. First, we take the primary sector. This primary sector involves the activities such as agriculture and agriculture-related activities and fishing, forestry, mining, etc. these are all the activities in primary sector or depends upon the nature nature it has a dominant role in the primary sector for example in the primary sector in the mining we are extracting the minerals and from the forest the forestry we are getting the timber and other products honey or wood for the paper pulp and fruits and some other things from the forest and in the fishing there are the, the fishermen they are collecting the fishes and they are selling in the markets for their livelihood and agriculture it is the main and important sector from the ancient periods in all over the world then we go to the secondary sector in the secondary sector the manufacturing process is involved in this sector the industries small and medium and large and all types of industries are involved in this sector manufacturing process is important in this sector for example so many types of industries are there chemical industry tools industry fertilizer industry textile industry cement industry etc there are so many industries are there here in this sector industrial sector the final goods are made what are the final goods the goods which are ready to consume these may be consumed directly these are called as the final goods so the second sector is producing the goods 
the help of machines and tools and also here the processing is also involved in this sector next we go to the tertiary sector it is also called service sector in the service sector no any goods wood is produced in this sector the sector is helping to the primary and secondary sectors indirectly to produce the goods as you know the as we call it as the service sector it is servicing the consumers and it is servicing the producers for example minerals extracted from a mine is transported to the distance place the transportation comes under this tertiary or service sector and the banking sector by selling these minerals or raw material or goods we get money we are depositing that money in the banks and finances banking and cheat funds insurance and the trade transportation and real estate hotels all the activities are covered in this third sector the service sector and also the social services and administrative services also involved in this sector defense administration are also involved in this sector like for example police and other public servants are involved under the public administration and the internet centers and it centers all are covered in this third sector next these three economical sectors are depending on each other for example you take the the goods produced from the primary sector they are taken to the market suppose paddy paddy is taken to the market yards by the transportation transportation is this activity is in the tertiary or service sector after that the paddy is sent to the mills then we get the flour and in the mills mills are comes under the secondary sector they are using the raw material from the primary sector and they they are producing the new goods final goods like this the primary and secondary sector are interdependable and the service sector is serving the primary and secondary sectors like this the c3 sectors are very important for the economy there is a list of occupations under agriculture industry and service sectors we give the reasons for this classification for example tailor he comes under the service sector because he provides service by stitching clothes basket weaver comes under industrial sector it is a small cottage industry flower cultivator it comes under agriculture sector because he grows variety of flowers milk vendor comes under service sector he distributes milk door to door fisherman comes under agriculture sector he catches fish and sells in the market priest comes under service sector he offers his service by performing puja courier comes under service sector he delivers parcels from one place to other place workers in match factory comes under industrial sector they produce match sticks by using machines money lender comes under service sector because he lends money for needy people 
gardener comes under agriculture sector it is related to the nature potter comes under agriculture sector he makes different pots using his skills beekeeper comes under agriculture he takes care of bee hives astronaut comes under service sector he represents country in international call center employees comes under service sector answers queries and questions by customers thank you for watching like share and subscribe